Hey there, YouTubers. It's Don from True Cable coming back at you again. Well, yep, we have another another product we're releasing. We just can't stop. We're, we're addicted to, uh, to, to communications hardware. What can I say? Um, waterproof couplers. They're going to come in two and five packs. And these things are awesome. They're IP68 rated, which means that you can literally chuck them three feet down uh, on a direct burial literally submerged in water and they're not going to leak and ruin your terminations. So I say we go ahead and talk about these guys, get into a, a close-up situation instead of a lighted a lighted environment, like a, a lighted box that I like to use, and give you a closer look and how these guys work. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got one of our Category 6A waterproof couplers. The Category 6 one is identical in every way. It's just that the coupler in the center is rated for a different category. Um, so the way you start working with this guy is you take off the end caps, like so. And then you start untwisting at these two green rubber grommets. And what we're going to get is we're going to get the actual coupler in the very center. It is a shielded coupler on both sides. So you can use either shielded or unshielded cable with this coupler and both will work just fine. And so the way you actually put a cable onto this guy is first, we're going to use a shielded cable as an example here. You take the end of the coupler you unscrewed off first and you put that down first. Don't forget that step, okay? Otherwise you'll find yourself in a situation where you have to try it again. So that goes first and then if you take a look at this, you'll see that green grommet in there. It's a split grommet, and uh, it'll work for it work for any of our outdoor Ethernet cables. So uh, rest assured that the outdoor stuff will be just fine with this. And it does not push inward like that. Actually, put your finger in like this from the inside, and then push like that, and the rob the grommet will fall out. It is a split grommet, and then put it over the ethernet cable jacket like so. And then you're going to feed the RJ45 through that coupler housing there. And you're gonna carefully put this gro rubber grommet, split grommet, under the plastic ABS teeth. Now, uh, be careful, it is plastic, so don't accidentally break one of these teeth in the process of doing this. So just carefully work its way, work your way in there and what you end up with is a cable that's been sealed. And then move this back up, like so. But don't tighten it down just yet, otherwise you're gonna make things a little tough on yourself. So tighten it down maybe halfway, pull it through, it'll be a little stiff. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your RJ45 directly into the coupler. Ah, there we go. And then you're going to move, now if you accidentally tightened it too much, loosen it up and move it up until you can start screwing it onto that grommet up at the front. And there you go. You don't have to over tighten it, just uh, finger tight's good enough. And then tighten the rear one, just like so. Again, you don't need to over tighten it, just finger tight's good enough. And it's now got a very good seal around that grommet. And on the other end, you're going to do the exact same thing. So in this case, I've got a double-ended cable here just to make things easy to demonstrate. Okay, so we just got it in there. So we're gonna slide that guy up some, bring up this rear piece, just put it on there so it's starting to thread, and then you're gonna connect it into the other side, just like so, and then bring up the main housing and screw that so it's making contact with that O-ring. And again, just finger tight is fine. 
and then go ahead and continue screwing this guy until it is finger tight as well. There we go. And it's done. This guy will now operate underwater, underground, anything you want to do with it outdoors. So um, just uh, as an FYI, um, this coupler is made out of uh, ABS glass or basically glass filled nylon. And uh, it's extremely impervious to any of the elements. So there's no element that's actually going to uh, damage your coupler here. Uh, so uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Let us know if uh, you got any uh, some suggestions or a better way perhaps of putting these on. You maybe you've worked with them before. And uh, with that, I'll say you have a great day and happy networking.